Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tosca Automation playlist and we are talking about the top 10 Tosca best practices. Now we are in the last two best practices. We have already spoken about eight best practices. So if you have not watched them, please go ahead and watch all of these before we continue with this particular best practice. Also, you might want to subscribe to our channel if you have not already done it so that you don't miss out on the upcoming videos. Now talking about this particular best practice. So Tricentis recommends that you should set the proper work states for your test cases. Now what are the different levels of this work states and where this work state is present? I would show you with an example. But setting the work states on test cases does provide a good overview on the overall status of this test case. Now what do you mean by the overall status is whether the test case is under review whether the test case is um, you're working on it currently or uh, you are planning that particular test case or you have completed that test case right so this particular setting is very important when you are working within a team because there may be scenarios where uh, you would be working on the same test case or um, at least under the same folder with your other teammates so it's very important for each of the teammates to know uh, what level of completion is done for that particular test case okay so looking at the test case you can find out whether the test case is still in progress or it is completed or it is still in the planning stages right so that helps you to plan your uh, work much better and also it provides a good overview for the management on uh, what is the status of the work with the team right also it helps with the overview of the requirements section because the requirements are linked to the test case so depending on the work state of a test case the requirement uh, overall coverage and the execution status changes in the requirement section and this requirement section um, is the main dashboard for the test management team or even the stakeholders right so if you are not setting the proper work state for your test cases then um, the requirement coverage may not be showing correctly for uh, the team management and that will create problems okay so let's see with an example of what is this work state how you can set this in a test case and how this is linked to the requirement section okay so coming back to tosca I can open any particular test case okay no matter which test case you work on uh, there is a column called work state now if you cannot see this column you can always go to column chooser and then just select that particular uh, work state column okay and then it will be appearing here now this work state has three status okay uh, the first is planned the second is in work and the third is completed so whenever you are starting with your uh, particular test case it will be in the planned stage okay at this stage you are trying to go through the scenarios and you are planning how you can build this particular test case okay so you can keep this in the planned stage once you start working on the test case you can change it to in work and once you have completed the test case you can change it to completed okay so these are the three work states it's pretty simple so it's basically the status of uh, the current test case which you are currently working on and the right uh, work state can help you and your teammates and even the team management okay so that's how you can uh, set a particular work state and uh, the three different uh, work states which you can set for a particular test case right and you will see uh, for every uh, test case a work state is always set right now how this is linked to the requirements okay so if i go back to uh, the requirement section here you can see that uh, we have got different requirements and under this we have got uh, this particular test case which is linked to this requirement okay so our coverage specified is 100 percent our execution state is 97 percent now if i jump to the linked test case okay so this is the particular test case okay which is present in that requirement or linked to that particular requirement now this work state is currently completed but what if i change it to in work 
okay so either i forgot to make it completed or i'm still working on this particular test case right so i make it uh, in work and now if i go back to requirements you will see the coverage specified has decreased from 100 percent to 69 percent for this particular requirement and the execution state has also reduced to 65 percent so that's the impact it has on your overall requirement coverage and also the execution percentage because this particular test case may have a certain number of weight right you can see here the contribution is quite high for this test case it is 54.77 percent so it's a very important test case uh, in terms of this particular requirement and that is why it has got a higher weightage and also the contribution is much higher in terms of the coverage and so as soon as i change uh, my test case to in work my requirements uh, coverage gets affected also the execution state gets affected okay so if you forget or if you don't update your test case in the right manner then your requirements are going to get screwed and that is going to uh, provide a different picture to the test management team uh, on how much the coverage is or the execution state is okay so it's very important as you can see to set the right work state okay so once i set it to completed and then i go back here now the coverage specified is 100 percent and the execution is also higher right so that's the impact it has uh, if you don't set the correct work state for your test cases and that's why it is one of the most important uh, best practices which you should follow whenever you are working in a team or you have got the requirements linked to your test cases so that's all for this particular video i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new today uh, there are lots more videos coming up so keep watching so until we speak again keep watching and keep learning tosca